ready for an exciting journey into the world of custom roams? Look no further because I, your host at Cracksoid, am here to give you an in-depth review of the latest custom room Void UI. This Void UI is based on the latest Android 13 with the January 5th 2023 security patch and featuring the Quicksilver kernel, this room is sure to impress. I personally installed the Void UI on my Redmi Note 8 and I am excited to show you all the new features customizations and performance benchmarks from Antutu and Geekbench scores to CPU throttling tests and safety net status. I'll give you all the information you need to know but that's not all. I'll also share my personal thoughts on this room. So buckle up and let's dive into the world of Void UI. Antutu Benchmark Score Let's kick things off by diving into the heart of the matter, the performance. I have tested this room using the Antutu benchmark test. The Antutu benchmark tests a variety of different aspects of a device performance including CPU, GPU, memory and storage. It then combines these results into a single core and the results are impressive with a score of 201375. It's clear that this ROM is a top performer in terms of speed and performance. Safety Net Next, I'll be discussing the safety net status of this room. I am happy to report that it passed the safety net compatibility test and is certified by PlayProtect. So you won't have any issues using banking apps on this room. CPU throttling. I'll also be sharing the results of my CPU throttling test. The test was conducted for 15 minutes and the result indicates that the CPU was throttled to 85% of its maximum performance. Geekbench. So after CPU throttling, I ran a performance test on this device using Geekbench. The result showed a single core score of 293 and a multi-core score of 1177. This means the device performs well in handling multitasking and demanding apps. Overall, it's a good device in terms of performance compared to others in the market. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Camera. Now let's take a look at the camera on this device. The ROM comes with an aperture camera that has a scan feature. This camera also can shoot 4K video at 60fps which is pretty impressive. And if you are someone who likes to play around with different camera apps, you'll be happy to know that you can install the Google camera on this device as well. I have tried it myself and it works great. Phone dialer. Now let's take a look at the messaging and phone dialer on this device. The room comes with the Google Message app and Google phone dialer. The dialer has a call recording feature but it does not have automatic call recording. If you use the call recording feature, you will get a recording announcement. Have you ever been in a situation where you need to record a call without getting the recording announcement? Don't worry, I have a solution for that. I made a video on how to record calls without getting the recording announcement, so check it out in the description section below. In summary, the messaging and the phone dialer on this room are functional, easy to use and a great choice for anyone looking for a reliable communication experience. Launcher now let's talk about the launcher on this device. The ROM comes with a pixel launcher which is a great option for those who want a clean streamlined look. The launcher has a recent app section that allows you to easily access split screen and freeform window features which makes multitasking a breeze. Overall the launcher on this ROM is user friendly and efficient making it a great choice for anyone looking for a smooth and efficient experience. Apps. One of the best things about this ROM is that it does not come with a lot of pre-installed apps that you might not need. This keeps the device running smoothly and I haven't had any issues with lag while using it. Watch as I demonstrate the animation when opening and closing apps. How does the app speed and animation look to you? Let me know in the comment section. Quick setting. The quick settings panel on this room is packed with useful options that you will appreciate. For instance, you will find a separate auto brightness style and the same feature on the brightness slider. There are also a bunch of new tiles like QR code scanning, one-handed mode 
and nearby share that makes your experience more convenient and if you scroll down you'll find the currently active apps section along with icons for switching user accessing settings and the power menu all of which are easy to find and use now let's take a look at the settings of this room i'll show you some of the unique features that this room has to offer in the settings are you ready to see what kind of options are available here private dns and adaptive connectivity let's take a look at the network and internet settings in this room one interesting feature you'll find is the private dns option which allows you to keep your internet browsing more secure by using a different dns provider Additionally, this room also includes adaptive connectivity, a feature that automatically manages your device's network connection to improve both battery life and performance. Do you use private DNS on your device? If so, which provider is your favorite? Game Space For all the gamers out there, this room has a special feature called Game Space. It's located in the app settings and it's designed to enhance your gaming experience. When you are in a game, Game Space looks like this and it has some cool options that can help you improve your gaming session. Screen Timeout In the display settings of this room, you'll find the Screen Timeout feature that allows you to set the time limit for when the screen will automatically turn off. The maximum time limit for this feature is 30 minutes. Additionally, there is no option for screen attention, which is a feature that detects when you are looking at the screen and keeps it from turning off. This can't be a useful feature for those who frequently use their device for reading or other tasks that involve prolonged screen uses. Dark theme. Also, you can enable dark mode on its display setting, but it does not come with any custom dark theme options. You can schedule dark theme according to your choices as it has a scheduling option present. This feature will not only save your battery, but also protect your eyes from the blue light. Fingerprint and Face Unlock This Void UI also includes security features like fingerprint and face unlock. I'll demonstrate the unlocking speed for you. So please let me know in the comments how the fingerprint and face unlock speed is for you in this room. Additionally, if you check the encryption and credential settings, you'll see that it is encrypted. Privacy Additionally, you'll find a privacy which includes a variety of privacy features to keep your data secure. You can find options like a privacy dashboard, permission manager, and controls for camera and microphone access. With these features, you can easily manage which apps have access to your personal information and ensure your data is protected at all times. App Languages with the arrival of Android 13, users can now set a specific language for a specific app. Inside its app languages, now many applications are supported, which is a good thing. More gesture settings. Inside its gesture setting, at top you will find quick tap to start action, but this does not seem working on my Redmi Note 8. Along with this, you'll find more gesture settings like quickly open camera, one-handed mode, system navigation, press and hold power button, swipe to take screenshot, and quick torch. This press and hold power button feature also includes an advanced restart option for accessing reboot to recovery, bootloader, and other options through menu shortcuts. System navigation. Inside system navigation, you'll find two buttons, three buttons, and gesture navigation. And inside button navigation setting, only hold for assistant option is present. Whereas on gesture setting, you'll find more customizations like age long swipe action, gesture indicator, and many more. Buttons and status bar. The buttons and status bar setting in this room provides additional customization options for your device. The button setting include options found in the gesture settings as well as the ability to wake the device and answer phone calls using the volume buttons. The status bar settings include a network traffic indicator option, clock settings, battery settings, and brightness customization options, allowing you to personalize your device even further. Google Photos Backup One of the great features of the Void UI is the option to automatically backup your photos and videos to Google Photos. This feature is becoming increasingly popular in custom rooms and is a must-have for many users. With the Void UI, you can easily store and access your memories without worrying about running out of storage space on your device. 
that's it for this video if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button comment down your suggestions and questions share this video subscribe to cracksoid youtube channel and also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye